Hi, I'm Stacy Ford and welcome to part two of our series on speech jargon here at LumenVox.com. In the first segment we went over general telephony terms that are used in the speech recognition industry. In this one we'll talk more about specifically speech recognition industry terms that may or may not be heard in other segments. So the first topic we'll talk about are the different types of speech recognition. There's speaker dependent speech recognition and speaker independent speech recognition. Speaker dependent is focusing on one person. Um, you spend a lot of time training speaker dependent applications and uh, that's so that they'll learn how you say certain words so that accuracy will go up. It's most commonly used in di dictation software. The next type of speech recognition is speaker independent. This is the kind of program we make here at LumenVox.com. This sort of speech recognition technology makes it so that everybody is recognized the same. So if you're saying something and I'm saying something, the speech engine will hear the exact same thing. Um, doesn't require any training. All of the training has happened before you receive the product. Our engineers have used thousands of speakers to uh, generate a dictionary so that everybody should be recognized the same. Um, it's most commonly used in IVR applications because as you might imagine it's very inconvenient to have your caller spend a great deal of time training the speech engine before you go ahead and let it use, use the application. There are also two different types of speech applications. There are natural language applications and directed dialogue applications. Natural language applications allow the caller to say anything that they want. Whatever pops into their head will be recognized. Um, it, as you might imagine, if you're having to anticipate any word that may pop into a caller's mind and come out of their mouth, it will require a lot of application writing on your part and they're very time consuming to develop and generally not as accurate as directed dialogue applications. These are the kind of applications we recommend here at LumenVox. These applications guide your caller through the voice user interface or VUI and they sort of tell the caller what to expect. So say the person's name that you would like to speak to or you can say the name of a department like sales, customer service and they'll generally get the idea that it's a command based short words to get them where they need to go. Um, some grammar terms we'll discuss um, that are pretty speech recognition specific. Uh, a grammar is a list of words to be recognized. For example, a yes grammar might include any word that is basically affirming your question. So it could be yes, yeah, sure, okay, yes please, any number of affirmations. A vocabulary is the sum of all active grammars. So if the yes grammar is active, probably you'll also want to have a no grammar active. So no might include, you know, no, nope, uh, no thank you, things like that. Um, the vocabulary would be all words that can be recognized at that time, all words in any active grammar in your application. SRGS is speech recognition grammar specifications. Um, it's the standard grammar writing format. Um, there are two formats actually. One is ABNF, one is GRXML. They're basically equivalent. Uh, you can do everything that you can do in one that you can do in another. They just are written differently. ABNF stands for Augmented Bacchus NAR Form. Um, this is most commonly used when an a grammar is written by a person. It's very easy to read, it's pretty easy to write, it's easy to follow along what the person is trying to accomplish so that if you need to edit the grammar it can be picked up relatively easily. The other is GRXML, Grammar XML, which has all of the same functionality of ABNF but is very commonly used for machine generated grammars. Um, it's, it's maybe not as easy to read but it has all the same functionality. Finally, SISR is Semantic Interpretation for Speech Recognition. This is the language for adding logic to your speech application. So what you want, 
recognized. So if you have a grammar of yes, you probably want them all to be equivalent to the word yes. You don't want each of them to return a different result. You could use SISR in your grammar to account for this. Finally, other speech terms that are commonly heard in this industry, phoneme. A phoneme is the smallest unit of meaningful sound. So it's not necessarily letters, it's unique sounds. Um, the speech engine will break words up into phonemes, and then it will translate it into text for your application. An utterance is what a speaker says. It could be a word, it could be a few words, it could be a phrase, a sentence. It's whatever they're saying at that time is called an utterance. A decode is the act of recognizing speech. So the speech engine decodes audio into recognized text. And finally, the confidence score. The confidence score is a numeric value that is associated with how confident the engine is that what it thinks you said with what you actually said. So our engine gives a confidence score based on one to a thousand. Anything, you know, in the eight, nine hundreds, it's pretty sure what it recognized is what you actually said. Anything super low, it's basically just pulling something out of thin air. And somewhere in the middle, it's pretty sure. Just to give you an idea, that's what a confidence score is used for. So this value will help you write your application. Um, thank you very much for watching our series on speech jargon. There's additional information available in the resources section of our website at lumenvox.com. If you have any questions about anything I've gone over in this video, please feel free to email us at support at lumenvox.com.